here at NEP to find out more about how rewilding can help the environment. We're going to meet some specialists who work here. How are you doing? Oh, Pretty really good. good. My name's Ivan, I'm the rewilding advisor at NEP. And I'm nice. Penny and I'm the ecologist here. Yeah, nice. This looks awesome. Yeah, I'm well, hopefully we've got a few things to show you. Should we go out and see what we can find? Yeah. So 20 years ago I heard this was actually a farm. Like, how did that change to this? So before 20 years ago, this was intensively farmed uh, and it wasn't very profitable. So all of this scrub has come up yeah. when the, the farming was um, sort of put to one side. And as a result, we've got this amazing habitat that's come up with all sorts of uh, blackthorn, hawthorn, we've got bramble and willow, wild rose, all providing, as you can see at this time of year, berries for, for yeah. wild birds here. Uh, but it's fantastic nectar sources, so loads and loads of um, lovely flowers that have come up that provide um, nectar for butterflies and moths and beetles. So it's changed really uh, dramatically over the last 20 years where we've moved away from a very intensively farmed landscape that was quite barren and not great for wildlife to this wonderful scrubby wildland. I think it's amazing that all this has happened in just 20 years because that's like, that's not that long in nature terms. It just shows that you can turn around a landscape pretty quickly. You can go mm -hmm. from a, a landscape yeah. devoid of life to something really just absolutely stuffed full of life and species turning up that we could never have even dreamed of. We would never have imagined yeah. that we'd have you know, an internationally important site for turtle doves here uh, that have yeah. turned up as a result of this rewilding mm -hmm. project. We've got you know, an important site for nightingales here as well and so many other uh, creatures. There's a stork right up there in the tree and a whole flock of them have recently just flown by. I mean, there's one in the oak tree over there. I mean, they're really impressive birds, aren't they? Like, very distinctive, like, there's nothing else. How does rewilding help with climate change? Rewilding can address climate change in a load of different ways. The great thing about it is that if you're focusing on biodiversity conservation, helping natural processes restore this landscape, what you get is all of this scrub, all of these trees growing up at the same time. And what that means is carbon being sucked down from the atmosphere. So every little bit of wood, every little piece of leaf is carbon being drawn down from the atmosphere. So what we have here is habitat creation shaped by the big herbivores, creating homes for insects, birds, mammals, but also have carbon being drawn down from the atmosphere, slowing down climate change and creating a really amazing system which addresses both of these crises at the same time, both climate change and biodiversity decline. So rewilding isn't just about land abandonment, is it? Definitely not. We're very keen to get that message out that it's not about abandonment. It's not about just walking away and shutting the gate and leaving everything to it because you'd end up with a, a very high canopy woodland in most mm -hmm. cases. Uh, so here, uh, as in other sites, we've got lots of large herbivores and they are doing all the hard work for us. So we're not out there with ostromers and mowers. They're out there with their teeth and their hooves and mm -hmm. trotters and they're making this disturbance. They're pushing back against succession of the scrub and making all this wonderful habitat that's so good for wildlife. Yeah. So guys, how does it make you feel being here in a rewilded landscape? Well, um, it's really unbelievable because usually when you look at places, you see rolling fields. And I've learned about the climate crisis and it's just like, this is so good. It's really, really nice to see because it's, it's allowing nature to just thrive and do its own thing, really. Yeah, it makes me feel really hopeful just to see, because this is only like 15 years old, no, 20 years old, which is really incredible for me because that this much has happened in 20 years is just like, yeah, it's breathtaking. I just want to like head off into there and see what I can find. <laughs> Wish you luck. Sort of against the You rules, could probably so. do a bit of foraging. <laughs>